Hey, welcome in, and apologies in advance for the audio. It is not like this in the playthrough, um, but thank you for joining. We're going to be doing a playthrough of Marvel Champions the Card Game, in which Spectrum and Leadership will be taking on an expert project wide awake. This series is part of the Perfect Matchup series by Get Up and Game, so be sure to go check out his past videos. If you enjoy what you see here, please like and subscribe below. It helps a lot, and I appreciate y'all. Alright, so let's get started here. Um, we start out with Knight of the Sentinels, which tells us to um, bring out our captive allies and set them aside, and then reveal Operation Zero Tolerance and Mutant at the Mall side schemes, and we flip that over. Um, and that comes in with one. Operation Zero Tolerance, game's permanent, and after an enemy attacks and defeats an ally, we place it under there. Or if there are and if there are X face down cards under the scheme, the players lose the game. So X is three more than the number of players. So if four cards get placed under here, we lose. Um, Mutants at the Mall, um, that's gonna bring out an ally for us. And then Abduction Protocols, that is in because when we bring out Sentinel 2, um, he comes in with 18 health, gets toughness, steady, and our first player, which is us, and the only player, we bring out an abduction, a copy of abduction protocols, um, and that is it. So we already did that, but we'll shuffle up the encounter deck here, and then we will take a look at our player deck and give that a shuffle. We have 11 health starting out, and then we're gonna draw six cards. So we get Squirrel Girl, Command Team, Photon Speed, Team Building Exercise, Nick Fury, and Power Man. So I'll set these down. Oh, what do we want to keep in here? Um, a lot of this seems handy. Command Team, Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl pings off the tough, which is nice, but um, Nick Fury could also do that if we bring him out. I like Photon Speed to start getting rid of um, some of our stuff here, and then I kind of think that's okay for now because um, this can help us deal with thwart. These things seems pretty good, but we'll, we'll roll the dice and see what else we can get. We get one, two, three, four more cards. Okay, sweet. I was looking for a double to, for Nick Fury, so that is good. Um, nothing else we can do in um, Alter Ego form here, so we're going to flip up. And when we do so, we might as well change to um, our, what's it called, gamma form, because when we do that, we get to ping off a of damage from an enemy, so we can at least get rid of his tough here. And then, what can we do? We know we want to play Nick Fury, so we'll do one, two, three, and four to play Fury. Um, he comes out and we're gonna choose the option to draw three cards. So we're gonna draw one, two, and three. Okay, perfect. So, oh, well, the Gamma Blast is definitely interesting as well because we're, we are trying to rush in this deck and deal some damage, so that could be interesting. Um, but we do need to get rid of mutants at the mall so we don't have to worry as much and abduction protocols, so I think we might focus there on that. Um, so photon speed is to change the photon energy form. Do I need to use that if I play just the speed of light? Because then I could change and draw a card, ping off one, thwart the rest. Fury does too. Now we can Gamma Blast. That sounds pretty good. I'm sorry about that. So we are going to um, use our speed of light. We're going to change to Photon Form. And we get to remove one threat from a scheme, which is going to be the one at Mutants at the Mall. And then now, when we're in our Photon Form, we have plus, three thwart, plus two thwart. So we're thwarting for three. We're going to go ahead and exhaust to get rid of Mutants at the Mall. Um, when that is defeated, we are going to go search the discard pile for a sentinel minion. 
And I think I already know that I want the search the encounter deck energy barrier. Depending on what energy barrier is, I think I want the Mark IV. But just in case, let me see what that energy barrier is so we can see if it's going to be a big annoyance or not. Um, attach the Sentinel minion. Um, can we also get rid of that? No, I think I'm just going to keep the um, Sentinel Mark IV. I think the three with energy barrier could potentially work out well, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So we bring out our Sentinel Mark IV. He's gonna hang out with us. We still have Nick Fury here. We flipped a photon for him, did that. So we defeated mutants at the mall. And so we flipped this over and we're gonna get Jubilee. So that is great. Um, let's see what we can do with the rest of our stuff here. I know I wanna do Gamma Blast. And I'm not already in. Oh, he gains guard. Uh, so Gamma Blast might not help us too much right now. We can take him out with Nick Fury, the Sentinel, and do a Photon. Yep, okay. So I was gonna Gamma Blast, um, but the Sentinel Mark IV has guard. I don't wanna waste that on him. I'm gonna use Nick Fury once to attack for two. And that does two. And then I'm gonna get ready where I'm gonna ready him, use him again to get rid of the Sentinel Mark IV. And then with um, our photo, our second photon speed here. Mm, unless I could put down a rapid response and recur Nick Fury again after discard rapid into play. Uh, but I also don't want to lose him to Operation Zero Tolerance. So in hindsight, rapid response might not be the best for this deck, but that's okay. Um, I am just going to forget about it and use photon speed. Um, change to photon energy form, which we're already in, and then we get to remove three threat, four threat from a scheme. We're going to go ahead and do that from abduction protocols, and then we, when that is defeated, we this goes in the victory display, and we take one random set aside captive ally, which comes from our list here. So we're going to bring out four, one of these four. We're going to roll a die and roll again if we get five or six, but we get a three, one, two, three, and we get Richter. All right, so Richter comes out, and what is Richter gonna do for us? Let's see, so, um, we can, might as well use him, we might as well use Jubilee while we're at it as well. Um, Richter is gonna go ahead and swing for one against the Sentinel, and then after he attacks, we deal one damage to the villain and each minion. So two damage to the Sentinel, and then um, Richter takes a damage. And Jubilee is going to go ahead and ping one off of the threat from the main scheme here, so we can keep that low. And that's everything that we can do. Um, that feels okay. I would have liked to do more damage, but... Okay, it is what it is. Um, we're gonna draw our five cards here and see what we get. X-23, energy, call for backup is wonderful. Photon speed, again, and a last stand. Okay, that's really good. Um, love to see that. So, what can we do? We will go over to Sentinel here. We're gonna add one to the main scheme and then the Sentinel is going to attack us, and we can't block with an ally. Um, and we're going to, we forgot to ready everyone. Blocking with an ally is a no bueno for this game. Um, so we will, uh, still trying to think what we'll do. Um, I think I, when I move to the photon form, if I change to it again, I might have forgotten to take off a scheme. Did I? I don't know. But. Regardless, let's see. Um, I guess I'm, I'm just going to take the hit because defending for one might not do too much for us. So we are going to 
be attacked for three plus two. So we're taking five damage. Ouch, down to seven. Oh, down to six. Um, where's my math today? So we're down to six health, and then we're gonna get our encounter card. So we get our encounter card, and it is a Sentinel Mark III that comes in with toughness. So gonna come in, we're gonna bring out a tough for him. And when revealed, now we go and get that energy barrier attachment and attach it to the minion. Um, let's see, so we will go get energy barrier, which near the top here, we're gonna attach to a Sentinel minion without a barrier attached and give it a tough status card. Otherwise, get surged. After this minion attacks, give it a tough status card. Okay, so it's attacking for a ton. Um, that's unfortunate because we kind of need to get rid of the Sentinel Mark three now, and it's back to us. So what can we do here? Um, one, two, three, we can get down X-23. Nick Fury goes away for one. Um, Deciding what to do, um, X-23 can come in and do a last stand. Sentinel Mark III has three health, I believe. Yes, um, kinda tough. Deciding again what to do. Uh, we can use Richter. Yeah, this will work. Okay, so we're gonna use Richter to attack one against Sentinel, and then he's gonna do one damage to Sentinel again, down to 14, and then ping the damage off of um, Sentinel Mark III. And then we're gonna use an energy and a photon speed to play X-23, who will come out and um, I don't think, yeah, I don't wanna last stand her. So in that case, I can end up playing my call for backup. So I will use X-23 to attack for one, for three damage to get rid of the Sentinel Mark III. And then what can we do? So we can, oh, perfect. We can bring in our call up for backup and then get rid of it in the same turn. Perfect, so I'm gonna use last stand to play a call for backup. It comes in with three um, uh, threat, but we are just going to exhaust to get rid of that call for backup. And so now I can search my deck and discard pile for an ally and put it into play. Um, trying to decide if I wanna actually do that or if I wanna hold off and wait to use this for when the time would be right for it actually. Um, What would we want to do? Because that's our perfect way to bring in. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to actually, I'm going to hang on for this call to backup. And instead, I'm going to, so this comes in, whoops, this comes in with three. I want to save this for when I have some handy um, readies and whatnot for allies in my hand. Then I can call in someone like Captain Marvel and get her going for a bigger push. Um, so it, do it doesn't feel useful right now. Um, let's see, so we will flip down and heal instead. So we're gonna flip down and we will heal for three, back up to nine. And then we can decide if we wanna use Jubilee. Uh, for now, let's see, it's gonna go up by one. He's gonna scheme for three plus four is one. So it's likely there's gonna be at least five placed on there regardless. So I don't need to thwart with Jubilee. Um, in which case we'll just leave her be and use her when we need her for her cool ability. So sweet, that's gonna end our turn. Um, we're gonna ready everyone up and then we're gonna draw one, two, three, four, and five and six cards here energy duplication cool so white tiger is useful a gamma blast is big speed of light captain marvel okay i kind of like what we're looking at here 
Um, ba -ba -ba. Okay. I like our options here. So what we can do is we can go, the only thing we can do is gonna go over Sentinel. We're gonna add one to the main here. Um, oh, Sentinel scheming for two. I thought they were scheming for three. Um, you know what, we'll let them scheme anyways. I might have pinged one off with Jubilee before I was counting the three, but we'll see. Scheme for two, three, four, so that wouldn't have mattered anyway. Um, this is gonna go up to six, and then five is gonna be removed, so this would go down to one. After threat is placed here, and there's at least five threat, the first player puts the top card of their deck face down under zero tolerance. So we're gonna take our top card, we're gonna put it down under operation zero tolerance. And what that is that. So then that works. Now we're gonna get our encounter card, which is going to be an abduction protocols. We definitely don't hate that. Um, so abduction protocols again comes in with four and then we get a handy dandy ally when we defeat that it does have um, the icon on it that does not let us get to the main scheme so we'll see what we do with that it is our turn and we have some options here so I'm trying to think through we could bring in White Tiger and have her do a last stand, potentially. I like Speed of Light. And then we can see what we draw with White Tiger. Um, or, that's one option that I do like, but it hurts, hurts like not using the Gamma Blasts um, when we have them. So I could use a Gamma Blast. Hmm. switch to my uh, photon form and then bring out Captain Marvel, which I might do after Captain Marvel display. And that could hope, hopefully bring him down to its next stage. We'll try that. Um, yeah, why not, why not, why not? We're gonna try this. So we're gonna flip up to Spectrum here. Um, when we do that, we might as well flip into our um, Gamma form here. And that's gonna let us ping a damage. Or is that what I wanted to do? No, that's, yeah, no, that is what I wanna do. Okay, so Gamma form here is gonna come up Ping one damage. I don't see why we necessarily need to do that. I'm sorry. We're going to flip to photon form. Um, and then we're going to ping off a threat instead. And we will take that from abduction protocols. And then we will now. Hmm. Yes. Thinking through these things here. One, two, three. Brown Gamma Blast. Use speed of light. Okay, so I will use White Tiger, Last Stand, Energy Duplication to use a Gamma Blast, and we're gonna be able to deal. We're gonna change energy forms, and then I will be able to ping a damage down to 13, and then I'm going to do uh, seven damage down to um, five, one, two, three, or down to six. Um, perfect. And so my math is a little off today, which is funny. Um, so then I can use, oh, I did this the wrong way. I'm going to hang on to my bed. The last stand, instead of um, last stand, I'm, I would have used um, Captain Marvel to pay for Gamma Blast. What did I use to pay for Gamma Blast? This was my hand. Captain Marvel energy duplication. Oh, that was an extra last stand. Okay, my bad. Okay, so here, here's our six card hands. I'm gonna use Captain Marvel, White Tiger, and energy duplication when I paid for that Gamma Blast because I need Captain Marvel in my um, discard pile. And so instead, now I'm going to use my speed of light 
we're going to change energy forms to uh, photon form again, which is going to let us ping a, another threat. This comes down to two from abduction protocols. And then now we have three thwart with spectrum. Now we will thwart for three, get rid of call for backup. Um, this goes in the victory display. And we're going to go and get our Captain Marvel again. So Captain Marvel comes out. After Captain Marvel enters play, discard the top four cards of your deck. If I discarded a printed um, energy resource, deal three damage to an enemy. If you discard more, also stun. Stun's not going to do too much with the steady, but we'll see. So I'm going to discard a strength, a get ready, oh, which is what I would have wanted with Captain Marvel. Um, I'm going to put the strength back here. When I used change, when I used my speed of light, I still have this. I'm going to draw the, the strength because that's what I would have drawn. I'm supposed to draw a card with speed of light. So sorry about that. So let's see, we're going to now discard, get ready. Uh, I wish that's what I would have drawn. Um, a beast. A last stand and a speed of light, okay, which is um, a wild resource, but it is not a printed energy resource. Okay, so um, I deal no extra damage, which is a huge bummer. That would have uh, been able to take him out. But what we can do is, with our characters that we have, X-23 can attack for three and then Captain Marvel can attack for three as well. Um, she's going to take two damage, and that's going to flip Sentinel. Um, so both of these, so that's six damage, three and three. And so he's going to go away. We flip Sentinel into the next form which is fine. Um, three comes out. So it comes in with 22 health. I think we're doing okay. So 22 health comes in with toughness and the first player is going to search the encounter deck and discard pile for a, another copy of abduction protocols. Um, I think I have to, oh wait, no. I do not have any in the discard pile. Um, so I will go get one out of here. So abduction protocols come out. The first player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for that. Um, and then deal each player a face down encounter card, not each other player. So we get a face down encounter. Abduction protocols comes in with four. And what can we do here? We could use a last stand here with Richter, which when the ally attacks, it gets plus three attack. That's not going to do too much for us. Um, or we could have them do abduction protocols. Uh, I think we're okay. So I might have, do I want Jubilee to last stand? Nope, I'm just talking to myself now. So we will have Richter attack one last time here. Um, before he takes his damage, he's going to do his response. He's going to attack for one, to ping off the tough, and then um, one damage gets dealt. Richter goes away. Uh, the reason I didn't use the last stand for him was that it would have ran into the tough. And so I could potentially have Jubilee do a last stand so I can just use that damage which I might do um, while I have the last stand. Yeah, let me do that. I will attack with Jubilee um, to for four attack to bring um, Sentinel down to 17. And then when um, that happens, after the attack resolves, we have to discard Jubilee. She goes in the victory. That's fine. We're not playing the campaign, so we don't need Jubilee to hang around. Um, so, here we go. 
We're going to hang on to our strength, and that feels okay. So we're going to ready everything up. One, two, three, and four more cards, um, which, eh, not ideal. But what we can do here is we will ready and go over to uh, Sentinel here. So we will add one to the main scheme. We can, oh, what can we do? Um, he's gonna attack for three, which we're gonna take because we can't block. Um, so he's attacking for three, four. Oh, and we have to exhaust. That's, un that's killer for us. Um, because we're not going to get to do abduction protocols. So we have to exhaust, which puts a thwart in our plan here. Um, hmm. I could use my pulsar shield when we defend. I would change to energy form, ready spectrum. If I was already, uh, no, 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 no. Oh wait, I already know the boost card. I don't know when. I don't know when the pulsar shield stuff would come into play, so I'm not going to worry about it um, with this specific timing. So what are we taking? We're taking four damage, so we go down to five, and then we're getting two encounter cards. So we get a target for elimination. Ooh. So while we're engaged with a sentinel minion, we cannot change. Uh, to Alter Ego, that is okay. Um, we're probably just gonna be hanging on to that card and then we get, oh, killer, a master plan. So we have to place four thread on each side scheme. Um, so being uh, ready wouldn't have mattered anyway. So uh, we're gonna bring abduction protocols here up to six and then uh, over here, we're gonna go up to eight and so those are just gonna stay there the rest of the game now, probably, while we try to deal 17 damage. So what can we do here? Um, I think the best thing we can do is use Black Panther twice, use Captain Marvel and X-23 to attack and then flip down. Hope we can flip up and kill him. Yeah, I think that's our best plan here. So we will now, um, comes over to us, can ready an ally. So all they're on their final attacks here. Um, I will play a strength, a pulsar shield, and energy duplication to get down Black Panther. And when he does, I can play, after he enters play, One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm trying to decide if how many cards I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna draw if I flip down my exact hand size. Yeah, either way, we'll see. Just in case, I can choose a leadership event in my discard pile and attach it to him face down. Uh, which will. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it can be last stand. Cool, I think this will work out. So I'm gonna attach last stand. It says face down, but we're gonna, about to use this, so we'll keep it up. Um, for now, I'm gonna attack with both X-23 and Captain Marvel. Oh, well, now nah, I'll do it this way. So I will attack with last stand with Captain Marvel. So when they attack, um, she's gonna get plus three attack, and then she's gonna get discarded anyway. So that's six damage from Captain Marvel down to 11 and then three more damage from x23 down to eight and then black panther is going to attack for two um, and take two damage goes down to six and then we'll might as well get ready and attack again to bring him down to four so the sentinel is at four black panther is discarded um, we have just have to survive this next uh, sentinel attack here or sentinel um, turn here because we're going to flip down 
No Sentinel minions are in play, so we can flip down with our target for elimination. And this goes down. And that is okay. So, all we have to do is survive this. We're going to draw our remaining six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sweet. Okay, we're looking good. We will give ourselves an encounter card. Shuffle the rest of our discard pile up here. Okay, so despite being targeted for elimination and all the other stuff, I think we are a-okay here. We're in the clear. This is going to pop and we're feeling good about it. So goes over to Sentinel. This goes up to three. And now Sentinel is going to scheme against us for three, for five. So this is going to go up to eight. And then five is going to come off. And we're going to place the top card of our deck under Operation Zero Tolerance. This only has two under here. So we're feeling good about that. Um, and then we get our two encounter cards. And as long as we survive this, we are good to go. So a Sentinel Mark V. Targeted for elimination is attached to our identity. So, Sentinel, oh my gosh, Sentinel Mark V is going to attack us even if we're in alter ego form. Okay, wow. So that could have been insane. So t Sentinel Mark V comes out and hits us for three damage, bringing us down to two health. If this is another Sentinel Mark V, we lose. So let's see. It's a Sentinel Mark II. Um. And when revealed, oh man, oh man. So when revealed, if Sentinel, if Operation Zero Tolerance is in play, it is in play, this gains Surge. Okay, so we get to Surge into whew, another Sentinel. Okay, so Sentinel Mark III with Toughness. All right, when revealed, search the encounter deck for Energy Barrier and attach it. Um, search the encounter deck and discard pile. I know there's one in the discard pile. Um, okay, so let's see. I don't think, I don't think guard is a thing right now because nothing in here gives them guard, right? Guard, guard, guard. I'm looking for the guard keyword. Nothing has it. Um, they did that. So we have a bunch of sentinels in front of us, but they don't have guard. So I think we're still able to win here. Um, so we can... have some fun though and see what we can do we might as well uh, flip up to spectrum here and we'll come into gamma form and we can ping off the tough from sentinel mark three um, when we're in this form we have three attack so if we were to just straight up attack we can get rid of. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's not much, that much cool stuff we can do. I was trying to see if we can wipe out everything and get rid of them. We might as well attack for three and get rid of the Sentinel Mark two, three. Um, and then we can, uh, I wish I had one extra resource here um, so I could use Goliath and Gamma Blast, but Goliath would come out and swing. No, I think the best thing I could do here is just um, Gamma, because Goliath could come out with five attack and get rid of Sentinel Mark III. And then if we had an extra resource, we would be able to play Gamma Blast to blast through Sentinel Mark II and kill Sentinel. But we don't have that luxury, so we might as well just uh, I don't know, <laughs> use the three. We'll finish it off with Gamma Blast here. Um, or wait, what is this? This is the ally heavy deck right so we're gonna let goliath come out for us with his five attack and then he's gonna swing and take his two damage um and then take out sentinel here down to zero um the other option would be use gamma blast we could blast through sentinel mark two but either way that is the spectrum ally heavy deck here the big hitters um and i liked it so that was cool thanks for joining along um, Spectrum is interesting. She's definitely not my favorite hero, um, but I liked doing this game with more of that rush strategy. 
So thank you for joining along. I appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe below. It definitely helps. And I'll see you next time.